The advent of this shot was interesting. It was really one of my first gigs, if you were. My role as a B camera operator was what one would expect. When it's time for Steadicam, you get to the center stage and you're everything. And then other times you're just kind of sitting around waiting to be told what to do. I wasn't at a point in my career yet where I was imposing a lot of uh, storytelling ideas. This fabulous key grip, trial blayless, has set up this seven ton steel cable to be bringing gear down to the hut. I'm thinking, well, that's a tiny set. I'm going to be sleeping at the top of the hill in my tuk-tuk for two days. <laughs> it's a story of inspiration also. We came up with this idea that, well, someday we'll do a shot from the cable. And we're all deliberating. I said, well, you know, we can possibly do something with the Steadicam on there. I've got nothing to do. The director said, well, perhaps maybe at the end of the shoot when the hut is burning, we'll do a slow pull-away shot. And I'm like, what? Come on, man. Denzel comes up in the car and I'll fly down over his head and we'll step off at the end of the shot and then we'll chase him into the woods or whatever. They kind of looked at me like, what? <laughs> I just said, you know what, let us play with it while you guys are down there. So, you know, and it had a progression. As the day went on, they saw that, oh my gosh, they're really actually doing this. It started to ignite an excitement throughout the whole crew. We're standing on this platform and we're practicing the step off at the bottom of the hill. There's a radio mic talking to the guys. Okay, let me go now. It was an adventure in how to use your resources, but also to, to want to achieve something, you know, exciting. The grip basically built a sled out of two pieces of speed rail. A piece of wood on a piece of speed rail that would actually flex as I was standing on it, and I'm holding on a piece of pipe with one hand and holding the camera hanging on this thing. It was a free fall down to the bottom. When I realized that when the thing would kind of ground and hit the bottom, it was a perfect opportunity just to kind of let the momentum take me off the thing. I knew it was going to work at that point. And then when the director came out and saw that, he was like, we're doing this. As far as a lesson and inspiration, I learned from this shot that, yes, I could be sleeping in the tuk-tuk at the top of the hill while a camera's working inside, or I could be adding something to the party. It was infectious. The whole crew, you know, got behind. And when we added that shot to the morning of the third day, man, the entire company is standing there watching this thing unfold. In the pit of your stomach, you go, oh, this is making sense storytelling-wise. I'm gonna make this work. Now I'm gonna tip up and reveal where the second guy, Denzel, is going. And then it's gonna turn back into his shot again. I just always felt someday we're gonna wanna look back at this and go, wow, that shot speaks to where we were in history in Steadicam. The collaboration with Denzel was interesting because it was at a point in his career where he was just nominated for Glory. And I remember we were working on this film and he was kind of stepping into his own as a movie star. What you learn from that is when the actor and you are working on something exciting together, you're feeding off of each other. So I think I kind of won Denzel over doing some of the normal McConkie-esque Steadicam stuff in the movie. And then to see Jimmy up there practicing this while he's working for two days down in the hut, he's like, yeah, we're going to do something special here. So I think we really fed off each other on that one. Once you feel that relationship with an actor, especially one of some repute, you're starting to go, you know what? The more excited I am about every shot I do, the more excited they're gonna be. That to me, again, was a lesson and inspiration for the rest of my career. You know that when you look at it from behind the camera and you see an actor look at you and go, oh good, it's Jimmy. And all of a sudden they're relaxed because you're there, that's, that's really a hard thing to let go. I remember McConkie mentioning that in one of the classes. I said, oh, well that's just an easy shot. He goes, no, 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 there's no easy shot, you make it as awesome as it needs to be.